Costa water candles and pistachio perfume. That's what's on the menu today. Hey guys, it's me, Drew. Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video because I am sharing the love of Dies and Durga, one of my newest fragrance house obsessions. And when I say obsessions, I mean obsessions. So without further ado, Let's get into it. As you know, since I was around 11 or 12 years old, I've always been super fascinated with fragrance and candles and all things beautiful to scent your home and yourself. And I've discovered many, many different brands throughout my journey here on YouTube and through life. And let me just tell you that DS and Durga is a brand after my own heart. Now, a few years ago, I believe this was right before the pandemic or during the pandemic, one of my very, very sweet followers, he actually sent me a candle from DS and Durga, Tomb of the Eagles, pictured here. And I haven't really, really knew anything about the brand. I burned the candle. I really enjoyed the candle. And then I went on with my life. And then I started to see DS and Durga pop up a lot more. And I was like, Dias and Durga. I definitely have had something from them. And then I remember that candle and how much I enjoyed it, but didn't really think a whole lot about it. Well, on my recent trip to New York, I saw a Dias and Durga store and it was covered in green for the launch of their pistachio perfume. Now, when I hear pistachio perfume, I was like, okay, I'm interested because I love a gourmand. And this is is a gourmand. Now, a little bit of background about Dies and Durga. Dies and Durga was created by Kavi and David. They're a husband and wife team, still created by them. They're still the creatives behind the brand. They're in charge of every launch, and they are still super involved. Now, Kavi is an architect, and she just was so fascinated by art and perfume and loved everything about it, but really wanted to open a store, wanted to make projects that actually really mattered and were super important to her. So they came out with DS and Durga, which is a mix of both of their names. And they created perfumes and candles that tell stories. They tell stories through song because every launch they actually create a playlist on Spotify of the fragrances that they create. But moments in time, more really scents that you know, but you don't really understand what they could smell like, like beams of light and concrete and like wet earth. Really interesting fragrances. Now, what's unique about David is he is the perfumer for the brand but he's not a like French perfumer. He's self-taught. Everything that he creates is from himself and from things he's learned throughout the industry over time, which is so inspiring. I listened to many interviews with them. I also was so fascinated one after I went into the beautiful store, beautiful store in Manhattan, and I also the Smell You Later podcast, which I will link down below. Tynan, who I've been following him on Instagram for so long, and his friend Sable actually have a podcast every week called Smell You Later, and I'm obsessed with her podcast. I'm listening to all the episodes over all the time at the gym, in the car, on my way to school, doing homework, here, everything. Super, super fascinated. And as a marketing major, I am so fascinated with marketing and how brands just come alive. Anyway, when I discovered them, I know I'm like jumping all over the place, but when I discovered their perfumes, I was obsessed. And what they do are studio juices. So they have their core line, which have some incredible fragrances. Debaser, which is a fig-based fragrance, is next on my list. But they create fragrances, and they're very limited edition drops. Most of them sell out within the 24 hours, and Pistachio was one of them. It actually sold out faster than any. So because of that, they actually relaunched it. And when I was in New York, I smelled it and I was like, this is really good. Gave it a spritz and I instantly fell in love with it. Didn't pick it up because I wanted to see how it wore on the skin. Needless to say, I now own a full-size bottle of pistachio from Dies and Durga. I've been wearing this for a couple days now. And let me tell you, the compliments that I get on this fragrance are off the charts. I get compliments on this fragrance all the time. So it comes in a box like this, Dies and Durga, and on the back, 
obsessed. This is their little story about the fragrance. So it says, pistachio, type, eau de parfum. Story, it's pistachio. Notes, pistachio, cardamom, more pistachio, roasted almond, even more pistachio, and vanilla cream. Those are the notes. Obsessed. Now, what's really cool about their fragrances is, like I said, they are telling stories, and gourmands are not exactly scents that everybody understands or loves, but I've noticed in the fragrance industry, even last year, that a lot more brands are coming out with gourmands, which I just adore. So let me spritz this on my wrist and tell you what I think. It is so complex, so warm and comforting. Oh, so initial pistachio, warm, nutty. And I really get that cardamom and the vanilla. So it's a really, really warm, comforting fragrance. But as I wear it throughout the day, it almost gives like a patchouli note. And don't think of that as like hippie patchouli. Hippie patchouli is so like in the 80s, like patchouli has changed so much and you would be so surprised on how many fine fragrances actually have patchouli in them. And this is no exception. It's so beautiful, it's warm, it's woody. I feel instantly comforted when I smell this. And I've smelled a lot of pistachio candles in my day. I've smelled a lot of pistachio body fragrances in my day. This is truly authentic pistachio. I'm obsessed. The sillage, which is how long it lasts, and projection is incredible. I'm telling you, when I was getting my hair done, somebody was like, you smell so good, but like, I've never smelled that before. What is it? And I'm like, mm, Dia Sandurga Passaccio. I'm obsessed with niche, fra niche fragrances. Niche fragrances are my style. Brands like Le Labo and Byredo and things like that. And Dia Sandurga is no exception. I did pay full price for this with my own money, not sponsored. I'm not one of those influencers that gets things for free all the time. Even though people think that, I definitely don't. Oh. I'm actually going to a show tonight and I know that pistachio is going to be the fragrance that I wear. The bottle is beautiful. They do offer a 50 mil as well. This is the 100 milliliter, but take a look at that label. So fun, obsessed. You have the DSD logo on the top for DS and Durga. Definitely, I know it's spendy. It's 190 for the 50 mil and 280 for the 100 mil, but I love perfume and again, Everybody sees value differently. I find value in fragrance. This fragrance is gonna last me so long, especially me having a fragrance wardrobe. I like to change fragrances quite a bit. So I'm so happy to have this one added to my collection and definitely look forward to more Dia Sandurga perfumes in my future. Moving on to candles. Now, when it comes to candles, fragrance notes, the more unique and more different, the better for me. I want my home to smell different. I want candles to smell different and unique. And I do have three candles from DS and Darga now. Breakfast Leipzig, which you can see right here. It's like almond pastries, coffee, leather armchairs, tobacco, and oh, it is so good. And like fireplace. So it's supposed to capture like a German coffee shop so you can get the hustle the bustle all the different fragrances i have one called holy ficus which is like a dirty fig fragrance and i'm such a sucker for fig i love anything fig fragranced and then i also got parquet leather which is brand new which is like basketball leather tennis shoes and wood floor insane their fragrances are so cool but when i saw this fragrance i was like Oh my gosh, and collaborations are huge in the luxury world right now, and this is no exception. This is pasta water. So this is a Juniper and Dia Sandurga collaboration. Juniper is actually a pasta restaurant in New York City, fairly new to the business, but definitely want to check that out when I'm there next. But the notes on pasta water say, a magical pot of unparalleled depth briskly boils in the background. Notes of saline water, semolina wheat, and chef's secret. So the boxes also have that awesome, like soft touch texture, really like it. Now the candles are a little spendy. This is $70, it is seven ounces. The regular core line is 65, I believe. But again, luxury candles all depend on the value. And this is the label. So it's a stock pot of water with your pasta. Now, let me tell you, I have not burned this yet, but on cold, it totally smells like pasta water. Now, don't think of it as like 
pasta water? Why would I want my house to smell like that? How fun is this as a conversation piece for one? And to me, fragrance is art. Fragrance is something that is to be talked about, is supposed to be different, really unique. And when I have guests come over and they see pasta water candle, you're instantly intrigued, right? So why wouldn't you be here? And let me tell you, absolutely. This smells like true pasta water. There's no other way to describe it. It smells like you're literally cooking pasta water. And I think in the kitchen, it's just going to be so fun. I And again, it's just a fun, unique collaboration fragrance. Once I'm done with this, I'm definitely going to like keep toothpicks in the kitchen in this. How fun is that? I mean, again, the aesthetic, the jar has that soft touch label and the throw on these little guys are so strong. I've been burning this one every morning in the kitchen and it fills up the entire space. Like crazy projection and throw on these candles. As always, trim your wick. Make sure you burn it at least four hours so that way the entire top surface is liquefied. I need to make an updated candle care video because I've been talking a lot more about candles on my channel. And I want you guys to practice candle safety so you get every ounce out of your candle. But if you like luxury candles and you like unique and different fragrances, pasta water is definitely one to pick up. But you cannot go wrong with any of the candles from the DS and Durga line. Absolutely. Oh, love, I cannot wait to start burning this. It's probably going to be like a Sunday candle for me. I have a whole collection of candles that I only burn during Sundays because it's like the relaxing day. It's a day where you just want to stay home and stay snuggly under the blanket and put on a great show, great movie, light a candle. I love it. So thank you all so much for watching. Let me know if you've heard of Dia Sandurga. Do you like these luxury candle and fragrance videos? Do you want to see more? Let me know down below with that like. That way you can keep seeing more of me. Hit subscribe, that way you're alerted every time I upload a video here on YouTube. Make it a better world. I love you all so much, and I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.